in the far corner, which people may be looking at if any goals go in. Any controversial goals. Ipswich get us underway, immediately pump the ball over to the left on BBC Radio Sheffield, and it goes straight out of play for a throw-in. Thanks for your company this afternoon, hope you're having a good weekend. Rob State and Brian Laws with you for this one. It's back in the defence for Ipswich, spread across here towards Luke Wolfenden. He'll take his time, just play it forward here towards Sam Morsi, who's dropped deep. Morsi will now run up towards halfway, chips a long pass towards Chapman. In fact, it's going to be Broadhead who brings this down. Can he get a cross in here? He can. Up towards Chaplin, who shoots. Can of click the shot into the air, straight into the hands of Cameron Dawson in his pink shirt. Work to do before we can talk about that properly, though, as this one's forward. Here's Flint. What an interception that is by Aidan Flint. Gets his big right boot in the way. Now it's moved up towards Windass. Windass with his back to goal, edge of the box. Still Windass. Still Windass is going here. Finds Bannon on the right. Here's Wednesday's first real attack. I offers cross, could fall to Windass, hacked away at the last minute by Ipswich, who get it clear and will try and counter-attack, but one back by Marvin Johnson. Johnson holds on to possession under pressure, gets past two challengers, still oh. going Johnson. Chips it across towards Barry Bannon. Bannon's ball into the box towards Smith. Smith chests it down, it's Smith! Oh. Shoots it over the bar, It sat up nicely for him, Brian, and he missed hit the shot. Oh, terrific play by uh, by Wednesday there. I thought Johnson was exceptional on his left-hand side, kept possession of the ball to get a grip of. Corner taken short again. It's going to go back to the corner taken. Now it's offside. I mean, that is sometimes, Brian... What's, what's actually the... Uh, what's the oh. referee spotted here? He's pointing to his chest, the assistant. Is he saying it's a pen? He's saying that's a pen, that. I'm is sure. He, he's, I, I thought he was going to give us an offside. The assistant referee put his flag to his chest. He's now deep in conversation with referee Jeff Eldringham. This is a long, long conversation. George Byers is wagging his finger and saying, don't you dare give a penalty. Cam Dawson has come out there as well. There's been hold... No, I think I think he's saying that... Byers is saying he, the player's holding, but there's a player that went down on the on the pitch so as the ball was moved. Before that penalty, of course, Barry Bannon was complaining of something and some pushing and holding and whatever that was, and now the assistant referee, I thought he was flagging for offside, but nope. he's flagged to his chest, they're still talking, that, the two officials. That indicates a penalty. I think this, I think this could be quite controversial, this one. The referee's listening. Oh, he's taking it across. He's blown his whistle, yeah, yes. he's pointed to the penalty spot. It's a penalty to Ipswich Town. Now, we don't get replays here. As uh, so he's gone and fell to the floor... Well, oh, I mean, that's I, a suggestion. I, I, I've just seen a replay of it, and I, it's almost, it's not, it's its the ball is taken short, it's almost as if an Ipswich player goes, he's away from the crowd and he goes down, it almost looks like he's been, they're saying he's almost been tripped up, I think, either way, it is a penalty, Connor Chaplin is going to take it, 18 minutes in. Is it Cam Dawson to the rescue? Chaplin steps up, Dawson saves the penalty! Big moment, big save from Cam Dawson with his legs. Chaplin went down the middle and there was local boy Cam Dawson with the save, Brian Laws. The Wednesday away end explodes in delight, what a save. Well, what a terrific save. You know, a goalkeeper has to use every part of his body for sure. Take this one, he's about 20 yards shy of halfway on the left. For Maywo in towards Bannon. Bannon just nudges this one up towards Smith. Cut out by Clark. Wolfenden in his own half. Morsi, the midfielder, over towards Clark. Nutmegs vaults. Whoa. Good tackle comes in from Windass there. Oh, and the ref's going to give it Come a on. He's a, what is. Come on. There, there's. Oh my dear. Dear, dear. Clark there. The centre half Clark is just absolutely lashed out of the challenge. Desperate lunge. Taking Windass out. And the referee was actually going to play on. He thought about it, didn't he? He did. Johnson down the line to Windass on the left. Windass is a great cross, header oh! comes in! Fantastic goal! What a goal! For Sheffield Wednesday, Michael Smith's header from an inch-perfect Josh Windass cross. It's wonderful! And it's Ipswich nil, Wednesday one. Well, you talk about it, turning the screw. Windass broke away down his left-hand side, putting a beautiful cross with his left foot. It absolutely inch perfect to to Smith, who glanced the ball right into the far corner. 
what's what's the word I'm looking for here? It was the worst example of, of a time wasting that deserves a yellow card. Yeah. Just sort of dropping the ball down slowly. Anyway, Bannon's cross into the box, headed down. Here's a big chance for Byers. It's two 0 George Byers with the shot. He's been in fantastic form for Wednesday. Ipswich are falling apart. Wednesday are heading for a big three points. Ipswich nil, Wednesday two. Well, that's just come from again. Just that free kick that was taken on the halfway line. Oh, the fans are absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing so far. I mean, this this first half has is, is, is been lightning in terms of the... Bad, bad pass here, Smith's in. Smith is in for a third for Wednesday. Oh. Rounds the keeper, is he taking it too far? He has. Hey, right, back heels to Palmer, to Bannon. It's Bannon and it's Volks and it's straight to the keeper. Oh, Ipswich wow. fans are furious because the goalkeeper and the defender left it. Smith ran through one-on-one. It was a massive opportunity for a third. Oh, God. He, Wolfram for Whipswich absolutely had a nightmare there. He didn't know whether to pass it back to the keeper, go for the ball. In the end, he did nothing. Give Smith the opportunity to go through um, because it will really put the pressure on Ipswich in the second half. Headed down towards Broadhead, gets past Iorfa, and Iorfa brings him down on the edge of the box. Free kick. In a decent position here, it's probably about 22 yards from goal. Here comes the free kick then, three minutes before half-time. Could be a big moment, this. Four-man wall for Wednesday. Shot is drilled in, it's a brilliant goal! It's a brilliant shot from Nathan Broadhead right into the top corner. Cam Dawson had no chance, it was the perfect set-piece. Oh, it's electric again now. There's been a goal at Bremel Lane. Well, there shortly as Dawson kicks forward, gets a shove for his uh, efforts there. Smith in Ipswich's half, holds on to it, needs a bit of help, tries a back heel. Ipswich nick it away, and now they can counter-attack through George Hurst, who's got Burns in the middle. Hurst to the edge of the area. It's George Hurst, it's still Hurst. His shot's blocked, it ricochets to Sam Morsey. The atmosphere's completely changed because of that free kick from Broadhead. Cross comes in from the left. Flint goes down, it's Hurst! And he's somehow sliced it over the bar, but the ref's given a foul for the challenge on Flint anyway. Trying to receive a ball when you're not expecting it. Oh, we had enough drama on that end of the pitch last season when Bailey Peacock Farrell dropped the ball down. It was nicked away from him and Connor Chaplin Got a late, late equaliser. Broadhead over towards Davis. Davis shoots, I think it was a shot, but it was so soft with his uh, inside of his right boot. Cleared away by Wednesday. Humphreys, Broadhead, left-hand side. Will look to get a cross in here. Iorfa's with him, he nutmegs Iorfa, who recovers, and then finds Byers and Smith deep inside his own half. Back to Byers, they're in a tight spot here Wednesday and Byers has given it away. Ball into the area, here's Hurst. Hurst cross was dangerous. There wasn't anybody in a blue shirt to get the finishing touch. And Wednesday will clear up towards Windass. Headed away by Ipswich. Here comes the blue wave again. Humphreys brings it down. Finds Clark in towards Morsi on halfway. Back towards Clark on that right-hand side. Four minutes into the second half. In towards Chaplin. Chaplin, edge of the box, brought down by George Byers. Free kick in a very similar position, Brian Laws, to Ipswich's last free kick. Yeah, again, it's in the same spot as well. See what they do here, Ipswich. Driven in, it's taken a flake and it's got in! I'm not sure who got the final touch, it may have even come off a defender. But it has gone past Dawson and Ipswich are level. Ipswich 2, Sheffield Wednesday 2. But Ipswich, they've come out well on top. Here comes the corner from the right, headed away by Aidan Flint. Back in, oh, what a hit that was by Chaplin. Unfortunately for Wednesday, it's straight at Cam Dawson, but what technique on the shot from the edge of the box, Brian. Keeper makes the save. All right, listen, he wasn't even facing his own goal, facing the goal before he, he had to swivel. Broadhead, left-hand side. Broadhead with a step over. Tries to get away from Dennis Adenarant. Cross comes in. Good block by Adenarant behind. So Adenarant. Sorry, I offer. I put Adenarant in my yeah. head there because we were talking about him a second ago. 
Iorfa with the tackle behind for a corner. Yeah, again, uh, Iorfa's had to, had to stand up to it. As I said, Broadhead was uh, racing in the box, so he had to block it. 60 on the clock, all lip switch at the moment, 2-2, BBC Radio Sheffield. Leif Davis with the corner. It's going to be left-footed from the left-hand side. Here comes his cross. It's a dangerous one, and Whoa. it's headed down by Chaplin, and it's saved on the line by Cam Dawson. Oh, wow, uh, I have to say that was, a, that was a free header. How's he got free? Which have it on the left here with Humphreys. Humphreys chipped forward. It's looped into the air, cleared away by the Owls. Bias jumped too early and it allows Humphreys to head down to Broadhead. Morsi. Here's Clark. Clark's going to shoot. Blocked by Bannon. Now Wolfenden. Wednesday need to get on the ball here. That's a great little pass down the right. There's loads of space for Ipswich. This is dangerous. Crossed it. Kicked away by Flint, I think it was, who got the touch as this one is cleared up towards Smith. Smith will try and hold it up. Wednesday are hanging on here. Dropped off. Maybe a chance to make amends here. Smith looks oh. for Bannon. Oh, he's not going to find him. He's only going to pick out his former Rotherham teammate, Freddie Ladapo. He's got to take care of that ball better, Smith. Ball's come up to him and he's played a first time ball to. Clark is going to go for oh. one here. I think he was. I think he meant that, but either way, it was heading towards goal, Brian, and it had Cam Dawson scrambling there, it's landed on the roof of the net. Um, I'm not sure that was a shot, I have to say, I think he was more looking to try and whip it in with a bit of pace, I think it's bobbled up. And it was a dominant Sheffield Wednesday, but certainly, as you said earlier, the pendulum has swung the other way, and Ipswich are now dominant, and this is the first time, a little bit of relief, we've actually got in the last third of the pitch, it's a free kick which Bannon's going to cross in from deep. He's crossed it to no one's picked up Flint. It's back across goal. It comes to Flint again. Oh, oh he's hit the crossbar. Oh my goodness. His first header was back across goal. It was cleared back to Aidan Flint. He has drilled it on the volley and it has skimmed the crossbar and gone over. So close, Brian Lord. Oh my goodness, mate. Brilliant free kick. They've got Flint free on the far post. His first header has been come back out towards him. Aluko back across towards Burgess. Wednesday is so deep here, and we are deep into stoppage time. Cross comes in. Dawson comes. Is he fouled? Ref doesn't give a foul. It's kicked away by Wednesday for a throw. Well, normally a referee would give a free kick to the uh, the goalkeeper if a collision. Dude, that's what Wednesday were asking for there. They want to know why that's not a foul. The staff talking to the fourth official as we're joined by digital listeners. Ipswich 2, Wednesday 2. Ipswich long throw, goes into the box. Flint's there, of course he is, to get it clear. Back into the box, hammered towards goal! Oh. And it is inches wide from Ladapo, Brian Lawrence. Oh, my goodness me. Ladapo swung at it. Everybody was flat-footed, rooted to the floor, Dawson included, and it just, just went past the post. Plays a 1-2 with Caden Jackson, Aluko. Surely there can't be much time left as the cross comes in. Femewo is there to head clear. Miscontrolled by Humphreys, and that will do it. Yep. In the end, it finishes 2-2. Wednesday led 2-0, but haven't had to face the Alamo in that second half, Brian Laws. Coming back to South Yorkshire with a point. That has to be seen as a positive, surely.